impossible to miss, the transverse mount V-twin makes the ruff instantly recognizable as a Guzzi. I admit I'm not a fan of any arrangement that leaves the engine vulnerable as this, but I have to concede two points, it does look cool, and placing the jugs into the slipstream provides cooling that you don't get from the fore and aft arrangement that comes all tucked away under the tank. The bores measure out at 80 mm with a 74 mm stroke for a total displacement of 744 cc. A good old fashioned push rod and rocker system times the two valve heads. Some people might find that to be a detriment, but I would point out that the alternatives would make the rocker box areas even larger, and I think we can all agree that limiting the amount of engine that sticks at each side is probably a good thing. Pricing is reasonable to most at $9,190, but it pushes what we consider as appropriate for the entry level beyond the established norm. Also, it comes in only one color, a gray matte hue that is about as exciting as the leaden winter sky it resembles. Seriously guys, I'd expect something a little less funereal for a ride as whimsical as this.